What are intrusive thoughts and how do you break free from them? Intrusive thoughts are repetitive, unwanted thoughts that keep you in a state of perpetual anxiety. They are uncomfortable, they are alarming, and that's the point. They're designed to grab your attention. They often start with the words, what if, although they can also present as a statement, and they can sound like, what if I lose all my money? What if something bad happens to my child? I have cancer. I don't love my partner. At the core, intrusive thoughts are attempts to find a foothold in the groundlessness of life, which means the fear of loss and death, and an anchor in the ever-changing sea of our emotional lives, which can be overwhelming. In the absence of healthy footholds and anchors, the mind sends down the intrusive thought and tells you that if you grab hold and try to answer a fundamentally unanswerable question, you will find certainty, you will be lifted out of the uncertainty and find solid ground. But of course it doesn't work. The more you feed the fire of the intrusive thought through obsessing, ruminating, and seeking reassurance, the more you will inflame your anxiety. In order to break free, you have to learn how to respond to the thought differently. These are the three steps that I teach my clients and course members. Number one, name the thought as intrusive. As soon as you hear that familiar intrusive thought, Say to yourself, this is an intrusive thought. When you call the witch by its true name, you diffuse its power and you create some separation. You diffuse from the thought itself. Number two, expose the lie. Intrusive thoughts are compelling and convincing. But if you believe that they are categorically true, you will fall down the rabbit hole of anxiety every time. So instead say to yourself, I know this feels true, but it's not. And remember, just because you have a thought, that doesn't mean it's true. The third step, and this is the most important and the most difficult to do, is to sit with the underlying feelings. This means that you're going to expose the protective mechanism of the intrusive thought. What is it trying to protect you from? By asking the question, what is this thought protecting me from feeling? And then you need to be willing to drop down into your body So to do this, you send yourself the message, it's okay to drop down out of that compelling and addictive headspace and come into my body, following your breath, and allowing yourself to notice what is living inside, in your body, in your emotional realm. So to slow everything down, and listen for what arises.